All right. Time for my two cents. All right, so one of the next things I gotta do is fix up the electrical panel here and all the electrical in the barn. Recently, I put this in. And now I'm gonna be putting in uh, two lights on this side today.
right, so I ran out of juice, but uh, got a light there, got a light here, and uh, the other ones remain except for that one. All right, so I'm done now here for today. Uh, right now, the uh, electricity comes in from here, goes down the side of the corner of the roof, and then goes in just next to that light by the man door. And from the inside, it just comes to this shutoff, and there's a fuse, two fuses here. Eventually, I'm gonna reroute it to this new panel. Uh, but anyways, right now, I just have it running to this switch. Um, and uh, I used to have a light there, if you remember, but I took it out uh, because uh, it was kind of shooting in a weird direction anyways. I didn't need it to go across the ceiling. I wanted to shoot or aim down at the floor. So we have these two, which are already here. That one over there in the end of the breezeway, which is already there. And now the two new ones, which I'm uh, pretty happy about. They look good. You guys saw me putting in these plugs. Uh, I didn't get the face plate for that one yet, but it's a, uh, it has a, a, a shut off on it, a GFI on it, GCFI, whatever. Uh, so that'll be nice. And uh, to have that permanently instead of running these extension cords uh, all over the place. And that actually goes through the same conduit or whatever you want to call it. It goes through the same pipe, piece of pipe as the lights. Uh, but it's on its own circuit, or at least it will be, uh, because uh, I just don't have it hooked up yet. It's just I have the wire bundled up there long enough to come down to the panel. Uh, I might only do that once I redo this uh, box. So that's that. There's that metal covered wire. This summer, I don't think I'm going to be putting in the tech cable. I, I want to put tech cable underground here and uh, run it up to the house. I don't think I'll be doing that this summer. However, I suspect I will be removing the outside wall, at least on the south side, this summer. And then uh, to do that, I'm gonna have to remove this wire, bring it on the inside. So probably start some electrical. Then I'm gonna sheath, sheath the inside structure. <coughs> to better protect against snow and wind and rain, which has been a bit of a pain. So I'll sheath the inside here. And then what I want to do, and the reason why I'm going to be prioritizing that stuff next, I think, is because I want to dig a proper French drain here. So the French drain will go in line with the old wall. The new wall will be sheathed. And then I'll have a French drain going all the way down, probably uh, to daylight, close to the chicken coop down there. And then I'll also do it across the front here, somewhere around the, uh, somewhere around this overhang. So we'll have the French drain coming across here properly. There's already a bit of a drain going out at roughly at ground level, but this will be deeper, as deep as possible, so that I can come out at uh, daylight at the bottom of the slope, at the bottom of the barn, at the uh, east end of the barn. So that's what's to come. Today was just a bit of a few lights starting the electrical outlets um, but really uh, big picture what's next is uh, sheathing these uh, inside wall removing the outside wall uh, and then uh, French drains when it's not too wet so it won't be right away in the spring but when it starts to get a bit nicer and uh, less wet start digging a French drain one thing I am gonna have to do though uh, before I uh, remove the outside wall completely is uh, think about some collar ties or something up there to make sure that I'm uh, not going to have roof structure issues. It's all just a hobby. So yeah, thanks for watching.